What is going on everyone? Today we're going to be installing and overviewing the 3D Mats All Weather Custom Fit Floor Liner. This specific type or model is called Kegu or Kaigu, however you want to pronounce it. The Jeep we're installing the mats in today is a 2021, but 3D does make them for various different years, makes, and models. So check out their website and see if they make a set for your particular vehicle. So first we're gonna go over the features of the 3D mats, and then we're gonna go ahead and install them into the Jeep. This style of mat is light and stylish, and it's created using 3D digitized scanning for your specific vehicle. With their carbon fiber embossed pattern and non-slip rubber surface layer, the mats are waterproof and easy to clean. In addition to OEM anchors where applicable, they also use a Maxpeter patented bottom layer that helps keep the mat held in place. And these mats are manufactured with an eco-friendly, odorless, non-toxic material. I will put a link to 3D Mats website down below and there will also be a promo code down below for 10% off on your order. Just go to their website, select your year, make, and model, select which mats you want, which type, and then select first or second row or complete set and then enter your promo code at checkout. All right, so before we install these 3D mats, you want to make sure you have any other floor mats that you may previously have had removed. If you have these little clips here, you'll basically just lift and unsnap whatever you have there. If you don't have those, just rip out whatever you had and you're ready to install your new 3D mats. Now bear with me, I do still have some salt in my carpet from the winter time. I haven't had a chance to get the carpet shampooed yet, but at least I had a chance to vacuum it. So let's go ahead and put the driver's side in. So we'll go ahead and just slip the front, kind of tip it down and under the pedals. If you sit really far forward, it may help you to move your seat towards the back. Uh, in this instance, I don't need to do that. I sit all the way back. So what you're gonna do is just kind of get it into position. You'll tuck the tag underneath and this will just go onto here. Now, depending on what year and trim you have, they may use different size carpet anchors. Mine are a little on the smaller side. So these snaps actually don't click into mine, but it does sit on top of it well enough to where it holds everything in place and the mat doesn't move around, even though it doesn't necessarily click. As you can see, it's not going anywhere and it fits really well and it looks very nice. Get a little bit better view of the fitment over here. I don't see any weird gaps or anything. Seems to be a nice fit. Just a quick side note for those of you that may be wondering, these 3D badges are held on by these two metal rivets. You would have to grind those off, but then you would have uh, two little holes in the carpet. And also if you look underneath the 3D logo, you can kind of see that there is an impression as well. So you would still have a little bit of an outline there. So I would recommend just leaving the logo. Uh, it doesn't seem to be that big of a deal. So then we'll go ahead and repeat the same steps on the passenger front, just like on the driver's side, only it's actually easier because there's no pedals. Line up our tabs again, tuck the tag underneath, and there we go again, pretty good fitment over here. No weird gaps or anything. All the way against the edge there. Again, on the passenger side, you can move the seat back if you need to, to help with installation. Now you may need to lay out the passenger one for a while as they do have to fold it to package it and ship it. As with many other floor mats, that's what they have to do. So you just have to leave it lay flat until it takes more of a natural shape or install it in the vehicle and you can just kind of wait for it to take natural form in there, which is what I'm gonna do. Now for the second row, if you'd like, you can move both of your front row seats forward to help install. Otherwise, what you can do is just get the second row mat into position like I have it here. You'll see there's kind of a notch right here as where the back side is more straight. The straight edge is gonna face the back. And what we're gonna do is just kind of take the front and tip it down into position like that. Just kind of wiggle. And then we'll have to go to the other side and do the same thing. And there we go. You need to make sure that the mat gets underneath the metal seat rail slider. Just a little installation tip there. Once more, just tuck the tag underneath and 
check it out. We have another nice fitment all the way around. So that is gonna do it for this video, guys. Again, I will post 3D Matt's website down below in the video description, as well as the 10% off promo code. If this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below with any questions, check me out on all my socials, and check out my other videos here on YouTube. As always, thanks for watching, have a great day.